and we have a very special guest, Jules from Renegade Kid, is here. Thank hey, you for dropping by, man. Thanks this is man. Uh, really exciting. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in what they're about to see here. Um, Mutant Mud Super Challenge. Yes. And uh, Jules is going to walk us through this. That's right. So it's going to come out on the uh, Wii U in 3DS. Cool. So let's jump in so I can show you how that it's, uh, it's a little hard. I'll start off with level one just to show uh, that it doesn't start off. It's not messing around uh, with the, the difficulty. So I'm going to try and talk and play at the same time, and I'm probably going to regret that. But I'll give it a shot. So I was revealing there, we've got the little hidden um, hidden gems there behind the, behind the level art, which is a fun little new wrinkle we've added to the game. Um, a lot of times you may get to the end of the level and you get a water sprite and then you're like, hang on a minute, I thought I got all the, I got all the, ah, oh, got all the gems and then you'll come back and go, ah, oh, okay, there's some, some hidden back there. I'm probably going to embarrass myself and die by trying to do this, but I'll try and keep my cred and uh, get through this without getting too many hits. So, um, one of the really exciting things about this is it's going to be on a Wii U and 3DS and we're going to be doing a cross buy, which is really cool. Right. Um, so if anybody, so I don't want to interrupt you, but if anybody hasn't, isn't familiar with Mutant Mud, that's a big moment right there. You just went from the foreground to the background. Um, right. Yeah, I totally take it for granted. You're right. That's, yeah, that, that was the signature thing for <laughs> months. Thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> I take it for granted now. Um, so you can jump into the background, the foreground, it's a checkpoint for the inevitable deaths that will happen. So you can start from that point. And I'm getting nervous just watching you. I know, well, right? I want to no, remind people at home that this is level 1-1 one, one <laughs> of Mutant yeah. Mud Super Challenge. This is a game, if, you didn't, if you're not familiar with Mutant Mud, this is a game that came out for 3DS uh, originally. And this is sort of the sequel to that. But this is. is the Super Challenge. So can you talk a it little is. bit about what that means? It's a good point. Yeah, it's, yeah. it definitely lives up to its namesake. It is very challenging. It's interesting. I, um, you know, I made the levels, you know, in kind of a vacuum, and I, I played. Level 1-1 one so one takes down the creator. So embarrassing. Oh, the fact that you got it that far while talking is a miracle, yeah. by well, the way. Well, the reason I did that was to show we have a death counter in the game. Yes. yes. <laughs> Just to it's remind. not like you're playing Mutant Mud to get through the game without dying. You're getting trying to get through with yeah. the least amount of deaths possible. Yeah. We're going to talk about comparing death counts, essentially. <laughs> yeah. So it is a super challenge. And, oh, and, um, it's fun to do that. It's kind of maybe a bit risky, but it's actually really a lot of freedom for us as a developer. It kind of poses the situation where you know you've you've finished the first game, um, and this picks it up right where that left off. So for the for the true fans of Muds that wanna oh my gosh, I'm just gonna skip those two and I'm gonna come down here. Oh, that's not good. All right, there we go. Um, those that really wanna challenge and really enjoy um, the the challenge that the original game presented, they can really jump into this and get it straight away. And we've also added a lot of nice extra little wrinkles like that. The uh, the CDs you pick up, mm. are um, they represent uh, a, oh, a tune man. that you can unlock. Uh, so you can visit the Jukebox Lounge and listen uh, to all, of the, this, uh, all the tunes that you collect in the game. So there are 40 of them uh, total. Um, one in every level. See, I, d I didn't get yeah, all the jokes. Nice, nice work. Not as smooth as it should have been. That was stressful just <laughs> watching yeah. it, and that was... The so I'll, I'll try and get some of that back. We are going to now check something out, which is really exciting. This is a big, this is a big moment yeah, for yeah, Mud fans. Yeah, it's fun. We've added bosses to the game, which is really cool. Um, so we've got, you know... Um, it's, it's fun because we get to introduce new characters and, and try and uh, introduce boss uh, scenarios that take advantage of the jumping in and out of the background and everything that Mud has to show. So... Here's a ghost, so I can't shoot him on my regular uh, water cannon. So I have to get the ghost gun pick, uh, ghost gun pick up. Um, but as you can see, I'm in the background here in this gauntlet, and I have to take these guys out before I get there. So as long as I get to the foreground, boom, with nice. at least one, I'm good to go. And then you shoot his emerald heart, that's his weak spot. And then he cries little inch muds, which is kind of sad. Look at that. I love the artwork guy. in this game in general. Yeah. I hope people are yeah. enjoying seeing this. The, the pixel style, just the aesthetic of this game. It's, you guys clearly had a very clear vision of the style. And I think the, the bosses, for people that like this style, bo making bosses sort of gives you a chance to push that art direction and that style in a new direction. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, it's fun. To, uh, yeah, to explore that. Um, and uh, you may have noticed the background changes each round. So the gauntlet's uh, brand new. Let me uh, 
Oh. That was a little risky there, but thankfully I pulled it off. And if you let that guy cry um, and don't get back quick enough, uh, the inch mods just just rack up. So you, you want to uh, you want to get back into the background as quickly as possible. Um, so there's not too many inch mods back there. All right, here we go. Boom. Nice. If I can beat this guy in one go, maybe I won't feel quite as embarrassed as my really bad performance in level one. Maybe. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh! oh. Already Why three, did I even three say deaths that? in less three. than five minutes. And that's not <laughs> even... Uh, again, right. if, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, this, is one, of our, <laughs> this is one of our Ninnies at Home games uh, yeah, that we're is. doing. Yeah, it is. Good point. Thank you yeah, for saying that. Yeah. So you can download it right now on the Wii U uh, eShop. Uh, one of uh, nine demos. Um, and the nice thing about that is you get three levels. You get level one, a level three one, and then this boss encounter as well. So you can uh, play it and show me how I should have played it right now. And if you're at um, home and you want to check this out on Wii U and download that free demo, I challenge you, if you can play through the, even the levels in that demo without dying once, I salute you. And I do <laughs> not think anybody, um, maybe somebody, but. Exactly. Uh, boom. And the nice thing is, um, when you download that, that also acts as a loyalty discount. So when you, oh, if nice. you buy the game uh, within the first month of when it's released, uh, you save, uh, I think it's 15% off the final price. All right, let's get through this and try and beat this guy. Oh. All yeah, right. I mean, for anyone who loves a platformer, the fact that this is available right now is, is huge. You got, you got to check it out. All right, this is it. We're on the final stretch. We can do this. I'm like nervous just watching it. I'm having so much fun. I love that mechanic, that foreground, background. Mm -hmm. It takes platforming, you know. This game, if you guys haven't played the original, Mutamata has always had a really, really good feel. That's, you've got to jump, a that double jump. It's, it's platforming and it, 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 it feels really good. I'm a genuine fan of this game. And uh, I actually cannot wait to, to play this when it comes out. Yeah. Ah, I can now breathe. Yes. Nice. Nice work. Take that, Ghost Boss. Take that. Got him. Well Go done. Right. Finally. Take so we have down. five bosses in the game. Uh, the reason that that's a, a ghost is because it's a third boss. Uh, every third level in each world is a ghost level. You'll see from the little purple uh, coloring of the door and the green and stuff. Um, and how are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. I'm going to yeah. do uh, one more. So do you want to do a little? I know you've here. got a little, a little something up your sleeve. We for do. Us. We have a fun right. thing to reveal exclusively today, which is really cool. Um, we're trying to make this experience as fresh as we can uh, by adding lots of, lots of little things. And one thing that we're exclusively revealing today, uh, I'll do when I can hide behind some of that level to make it a bit more dramatic, um, is we are teaming up with some, uh, some friends. And um, we are adding a few secret characters to the game, which are playable. And uh, so our friends at Image and Form have very uh, uh, graciously let us uh, borrow a little Rusty oh, uh, nice. for the game. So we have Rusty in his uh, home homeland here, the dust, dust, the the desert, desert dessert. Go ahead and say it. Um, <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. I should let you guys play this. Why am I saying this and failing? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, well done. So, yes, yeah, so this could be 20 secret characters in the game. I love uh, that. Which is really exciting. It's so um, cool seeing Rusty. Uh, if, if people aren't familiar where Rusty's from, you mentioned that. That's a good point. I should mention that. Steam World Dig. Of yes, course. I think a lot awesome of Steam World Dig game. fans out there. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool just seeing these. I know. I love how you, you indie developers sort of team up and have your characters appear in each other's games. And it really does take a game that where the gameplay stays. The same, it just changes everything about the feel and it just is such a cool... Yeah, it's surprising. Game. Yeah, because it has the same kind of gameplay, of course, so the gameplay is consistent. Um, but it does, it's, it, it changes, it does change the way it feels, even though that's not logically, you know, it makes sense. But it, it's really nice. Uh, it's a nice kind of fashion choice to kind of uh, select who you're going to jump in there with. Um, nice. All right, here we go. So as you can see here, we're in the foreground. Massive uh, foreground. Oh. oh. Now it is time to hand it off, I think. Wow. So who wants to play? Are you going to play or are you going to play? Yeah, I'll do right. so. <laughs> I might pass it off to you in like... I'm excited right. to see Ed play. Once I hit three deaths. All right, Jules, cool. is, Jules is making it look easy. He can seconds. play and talk and, you know, he's still dying here and there, but yeah. I think Ed's right. going to... I don't know. All right, one. Go. See? That's how hard Great. it is. That's there we go. Um, it's interesting. It's surprising how hard it has turned out, which is nice. 
It definitely wear, wears its name uh, with pride as far as you the challenge. See, you can see Ed here warming up. You know, he's warming up his yeah. thumbs, getting his jump and double jump down. And you, you I think you mentioned it briefly, but do you want to talk a little bit more about the cross uh, cross buy? Yeah, absolutely. So if you buy the 3DS version, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you, you simply get the Wii U one for free, which is really great, um, or, and vice versa. Um, so for one price, you get both games, which is really nice. Um, and, I, and I love that for games like this, where you really get into the, you know, some of these levels, like I can already tell, they're gonna get in people's heads, and you're like, I, I know I can beat that one. I just need one more shot, and you'll be right, able to take right. that shot on the go with your That's 3DS. That's true. Or yeah, on the Wii U. totally. And it supports off TV play for the Wii U as well. So if you want to curl up on the couch with it, you can do it that way. I love that um, too. A big inspiration for the game uh, was um, uh, Mario Lost Levels, you know, which was a oh, really wow. cool thing where. Um, that was very much taking the original Mario and kind of do some, you know, remix of the levels with you know, a higher difficulty. And I really liked that. I thought that was a really nice um, challenge for those that love the first game and just want to jump straight in and not go through a difficulty curve again. So that was the, the seed of the idea for this. Um, but then as it kind of, as it grew in development, we're like, hey, let's make, you know, all the worlds different, you know, so there's five new worlds to visit. Let's, you know, that's the first time you see the, uh, the devil cat ball in solid form. Uh, he was a ghost. Oh. He was a ghost originally, so now you can take your revenge on him and, and destroy him once and for all. I want to see Ed go right back to that section. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to give one the, more the, shot. The hidden gems, you know, I, the again, CDs. You, with the, I like how you've, you've got the foreground background mechanic, but these right. enemies are a great platforming trick because mm -hmm. it's such a cool technique that these jumps wouldn't even God. be that easy without those things. Right. By having them spin yeah. in and out of the game, like, man. I can show you the technique for that if you like. What's that? I can show you the fancy technique for that if you like. Oh, yeah? I guess. You guess you want style? Well, maybe I'll let you. Uh, you, you. You can shoot them if you want, or you can. You can. It's a timing thing. Oh, yeah? I'll let you. Do you want me to show you, or you want to yeah. jump in there? All right. All right. I think I've got it. Go for it. Just going to show that it, it is possible. It's not totally evil. <laughs> what is not going totally on evil. Yeah, not totally. Not totally mildly yeah. evil. A <laughs> little bit of evil. <laughs> Let me try, let me try. All right, there there you go. Yeah, you. Get some Save of this me, too. please. Warm, let me warm up a little <laughs> bit here. All right. The nice thing is, I'm, I'm just warming up, warming up. All if right. you can't play the game like me, who designed the level, uh, you can just shoot him. Yeah. Which is cool. But there is and a, there a, is a, a, a rhythm two. there. And a one. Like, not, and a two. Because the nice thing is, you can jump, you can land, jump I up, and jump across, which I did not demonstrate. I took there two here. You did it, man. Yay! Oh, no! I was like, I took a moment to savor right. my victory, and that the guy, guy and he's like, no, nope. the face sword. Yeah. Whew. All right. Cool. <laughs> so, do you want to maybe take us through? Let's uh, jump into another level thing, yeah. maybe, and nice. uh, check that out. Now, the um, back there is is uh, in the background. There is the final world, and you have to beat all of the levels in the foreground to mm -hmm. unlock that world, because um, that's the, the the fancy temple. Now you'll see uh, the, uh, this is. Uh, this is a uh, in development build, so this is uh, Granny's shop, but it will look different in the final game. But the basic functionality is the same. Uh, this is the three power option in the original game. Uh, with this game, uh, when you start it, boom, you have access to it. You can get them straight away. Again, with the idea that you just finished the first game and then you're coming straight into it. And there's the jukebox lounge over there, which um, we will not visit today, but I'll show you the front door. So let's go and check out an ice level and also if I have enough time to get there, well, now you, you I know you guys have a lot of little treats planned. Like any good huh? platforming game, you, you're going to be able to get little collectibles along the way. You'll be able to get right. power-ups and all that stuff. And I'm going to try and get to a secret level if I can, just to show a little bit Ooh. more variety. Secrets. Oh, that wasn't good. All right, let's go and get that guy. Oh, oh man, that was... It is, it's definitely one of those games which... I am certainly demonstrating now where nice. you kind of have to be in that zen kind of state, you know, to really right. get the, the feeling and uh, the pace of it all, um, which I am not apparently in right now. <laughs> um, it's but hard it, to play and talk at the same time, but also, like, yeah. I think it's, it's, you, you do have to be focused, and I think you people do. appreciate that. It, 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 it demands your attention, for yeah. sure. But whenever I die playing um, this game, I always feel like, oh, I, like, it was my fault. Like, yeah. I had that. Oh, this, so, this art style looks... So. Check it out. It's, uh, it's familiar, right? It does look familiar. It looks like the Virtual Boy, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So you're yeah, paying homage, homage to a, a wonderful Nintendo platform of yesteryear. Um, and uh, so this is a secret level. There are, Every level has a secret level. So there are 20 regular levels and 20 secret levels. Um, 
and uh, some half of them are kind of Virtual Boy kind of style, and the other half are uh, Game Boy style. Um, and this is another example of a little uh, secret bit that you may not notice at first mm. um, that you'll have to come back to. I love uh, it. Later. That's a great. I think that's probably a great place to stop if you can take this guy. Yeah, out. indeed. I could oh, watch this for forever. Though. Though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great yeah. place there you to go. stop. Great right place there. to stop death. right there. Ten deaths. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Jules, <laughs> thanks for dropping by. This is yeah, awesome. Man, thank yeah, you. Yeah, once again, it. just to remind you guys at home, this game, you can play this right now for free. Yeah. There's a demo on the Nintendo yep, Wii Shop for you. Yes, absolutely. Yep. You can get that game, and that will, if you buy it, you'll get a discount on the full game when yeah. it comes out. Yeah. You can start training your Mutant Mud skills. I mean, maybe go back to the original game if people really want to get yep. a bigger taste for it. Uh, exactly. Mutant Mud Super Challenge. Yeah, coming Jules, out this summer. Yep. Renegade yep. Kid. Yep. Cool. Absolutely. Check right. it out. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank Treehouse you guys. Live.